What is up guys, welcome back to part 2 of my gameplay um, I edited like part 1 And it took me uh, like a whole day yesterday It was so long, there was like 3 hours of footage and But um, yeah, it turned out well So right now we're just gonna see where I left off Okay, I think I'm gonna explore a little bit for today Rebellion. Ooh. What can I do though? Levioso. Oh. Mm, nice. There was a floating page just now. Where's that page? Where do you go? Rebellion. Oh, there's one there. Does this go to anywhere? Yeah. Accio. Oh, cool. Nice. Okay. I saw a flying pitch somewhere here. Where did it go? Man, I totally saw a flying pitch just now. I got distracted by the mermaid. What's up? Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Okay. Hmm... Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. I'll take a look. Do What's come this? and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Okay. Lumos. Ooh, that spot that? must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Huh. What statue is that? Oh, there it is. Yeah! God, yeah. Yeah, what's wrong with you? What did you do? Is everything alright? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally <laughs> took flight. First world visiting problems. That sounds a rather complicated way to simply avoid carrying your books. Possibly. But where's the fun in simplicity? New charms and spells have to come from someone. Why not me? I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. 
Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Okay. We'll give you a try. Is it this way? I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Akio! Got it. Only four more to go. That's one. Let's go upstairs. There must be something up there, right? Oh, there it is. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay. Hello, fellow Slytherin. Excuse me. Where's the last one? The last two. Where's one more? Oh, oh. And one more. Ah, oh, nice. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Oh. I'm utterly convinced that if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. I brought Smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pie. Okay. No, what's this? I'm boss still good. Oh, where's this? Is this the restricted section? Hey, got your books. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Try extort, extort something out of her. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to extort you for a while. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. <laughs> oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. Okay, la, okay, la, fine. I'm only joking. I wouldn't do that to you, Cressida. Only trying to teach you to be a little more careful. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong, perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. You should just start carrying books like a normal person. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Try where this? Yeah, let's try this. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I love that guy. I'm glad I've changed clothes since we're going to Hawksmith soon. So, oh, this way. Man, this school is so huge. Whee! Whoa, Peeves. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice? 
see a mole? As long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory, not for the meek. <laughs> he tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But Peeps, get out of the way. His containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. <laughs> it was granted my privileges, be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, poor guy. That if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swing. I like how he talks Whee! in riddles, though. Okay, you for this. <laughs> Dude, you left your books. Go get your books. No go to class. Go. Go get your books. Dude, this school is so huge. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Yeah, man. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. Mm -hmm. I beat him. I did take him down a peck. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists. And whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Sure, I'll join your club. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in crossed ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. Man, so, this kid is in charge of this whole operation. That's crazy. So he's like the the UFC owner of Hogwarts. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin. Get your money ready, man. I'm coming for the price. We'll make you regret signing up. Okay. And Gringo. Potato. Ooh. I could never duel like that. Pay up, kid. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with because me Because it's illegal. I may have something lined up for you. What's Again, up? Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. <laughs> Why? Why are you gloomy? Just wait till I've grown a bit. Then we'll see how well you do. I beat you. I feel sorry for your next opponent. Thank you. Oh, chess. Oh, 55? Nice. Okay, now I'm ready to go to Hawksmith. Let's go. Let's go to Hawksmith. Well, Hi, Sebastian. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I My see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Look at us just jogging. <laughs> Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. <laughs> glad I could be of service. Oh, just one moment. 
This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Hmm. Wait, can I do something? Okay. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Whoa. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Where? Oh. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? That's pretty fun, a man. Little. It's positively enormous. You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Nah, nothing much. Just uh, fight a dragon or two. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Mr. Moon! What was He's that? He's a Hogwarts caretaker. Ooh. Looks a bit worse for wear. Man, there's a lot of things you can call that kid, though. Wait, let me take a look around. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I don't want to bend this question. Mm. We're here. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. It's so cool. What was that? So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and some other bits. Yes. Dittany seeds, some spellcraft and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Sure. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. I will. Okay, let's do Tom's and Scrolls first. This is one. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spell crafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Small potion station, okay. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. What do you have? Beast Fear Spellcraft. Conjure Beast Feeder, place one to make sure your beasts are kept fat. Okay. Dude, all of them are so expensive. I only got like 55 coins with me. What's the cheapest one here? What's this? Potting table with three small pot spellcraft. Unlocks the ability to conjure potting table. Not to go all sorts of useful magical plants. Okay. This is the cheapest one you got? 400. Okay, never mind. What do you have there? 
Oh, does it mean I can sell this? Oh, yeah, I can sell it. I don't want to sell this. This is my school uniform. It'll forever be there. No oh, man, I think I'm done. I'm broke. Got no money. Thank you. Okay, gotta go to JPP's potions next. Oh, what's going on? Prepare for war. What will they take? Okay. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss La Wang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. What can I do for you today? Potion recipe, Adirus. Recipe for a potion that causes a rocky firm to develop on a consumer skin, helping to protect them from harm. Purchase. Wingerwelt potion recipe. Healing potion, okay. Gotcha. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Focus. That reduces the drinker's spell cooldowns. Thunder Brew for powerful damage, visibility, maxima potion. Man, they're all like above at least 400. I only got like 55. Spider Fang. Interesting. Thick mucus from trolls. Use as a thickener for visibility potion. Mongrel fur. Okay. How's this? Oh, okay. This is ready made potions. Alright. I'm done. I think I gotta forage the area. Gotta forage the area. Maybe sell some stuff. Get more money. Before I come back. Well, hello there. Hello. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Yep. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. <laughs> Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? Yep. I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. Okay. But what we'll say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Yes, please. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. The whole cost. Oh my god. Can I afford one thing here? There's nothing I can afford.
Is there nothing I can afford? Oh my god. Okay. I'm dead broke then. Okay, to all the vendors. Save the best for last. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Girl ball. Girl ball Just Ollivander. Please. Must be his grandfather or something from the books. Uh, hello, sir. I'm looking for, for a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes. Uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest <laughs> one makers in the world. I like how he places his I'm one is yeah. To meet you, truly. Now, so interesting. Come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh. Oh dear. Okay. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. Give me another one. Something not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. This is an ugly looking one, man. Please no. Thank God. I do not like that Looks one. Like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, I want something more refined. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How something nicer looking like the first one. Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh, damn, Hazel, Phoenix Feather. <laughs> okay, no offense, but it kind of looks like a rotten stick. <laughs> no, it's alright, it's pretty cool, I guess. Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions. Particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Mm. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. I will be back. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. What was this? Not gonna leave here. Spin this. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. 
Let's see what else we can get up to. Oh, what's going on? Oh, what the heck? Hey, what? Where you come from? Damn, okay. Time to test out the new one. Oh! Oh, okay. I go. Okay, okay, okay. Get it. Oh shit. Oh damn. Bring a potion. Ah no, not die. No, not die. Do not die. Do not kill me. Oh man, I am getting beaten up by this thing. No! I almost died though. Oh, 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 what? Oh! Damn, son! Goodness! A second troll! <laughs> How did, did I do that? Take on a fully grown troll by yourselves. I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's big. Well, how did I do that? That's cool. Right? We are. And we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Yes, I will, ma'am. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. I almost died. Like, legit almost died, sir. That show was tough. Oh, hello there. A, a moment if you would. I'll Not now. You want. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Good as you. No, this one, okay. Repair her. You don't need insurance, huh? You seriously don't need insurance in the wizarding world if everything can be fixed like that. That's just crazy. But that troll, though, that troll was nuts. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. Nice hair, I'd like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were, life saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? What am I wearing? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Who's this? You mean this? Okay. Okay. I'll be back next time. I'd say we've earned a bus <coughs> here or two, wouldn't you? Might yes, please. Get that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. Who's that? You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Man, no. Now, what can What's I... up with this goblin story? Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that no, right? I did. I almost died. Well done. <laughs> Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> No oh, man. What time, man? Are you serious? Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Yeah, scam off. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Mentry about to be forever. He and you stop it. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? A heck lot, dude. <laughs> I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Now, what's this? 
come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket. Locket we found at our green gods. Okay. I heard if you cast Lumos, all the fishes will come. Lumos. Hey! <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's fine. Yep. Just eating an apple. What's in here? Oh, more rooms. <laughs> Just going around stealing snacks. This is a nice room. Why am I not in this room? Just gonna eat your snacks again. Oh! Nice! Mmm! Yeah, cakes. Yeah. More cakes. Oh, this one has a lot of food. Where does this go? I suppose I'm not allowed up there. Why? Why am I not allowed in the... What? Seems out of limits to me. Okay. This looks like the location from the painting. No, oh, yeah, Could it is. So special about it. Rebellion. A potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gives them the potion is their best friend. Rebellion. Anything else? What's this? No, oh, what's that? Am I not allowed to do anything with that? Accio. Okay, so this is the place. What do I do now? Do I go back here? Oh, wait. Is one of the butterflies missing? Is that it? Revelio. Lumos. Ah. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Nice. was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. The Nora! I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! <laughs> is there any more side missions I can do? <coughs> I want to do more side missions. Oh, I solved it. How? What? Did I solve it? What? Wait, how many are there? Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Eight, nine, ten. Right. There's ten. 
Wait, 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 okay. Let me get this. Hmm? What does it mean? Zero, three, and five. Question mark. A unicorn said four, twelve. Double question mark. Wait. I solved it. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, y'all don't know this, but I spent like freaking 10 minutes on the riddle, okay? So please, like. Like this video. Like for my efforts. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I solved that. Okay. Ah, come here, I solved it. Subscribe. Subscribe to this monkey brain. I solved it. I'm so happy. Okay, let's go talk to Mr. Fig now. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade? With Rookwood? The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Okay. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. Hmm. Understood. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well, but... If our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Heckett a bit, before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll okay. let Professor Hackett know to expect you. Ah, I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. 
Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised Ugh, by some task. of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Win two rounds of cross ones. Complete a round of spell combination practice. With Lucan Bretterby. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. There's three of you? Okay. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. Or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. Let me open. Oh. Wait, let me get that right. Oh, nice. Good one. I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. You know, at first I thought the one was like a bit crooked for my liking, but kind of grew on me. Look at that. Right. Kind of fits him. If only a new student were to help me with my sad Oh yes. How can I help you? Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? No. Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. There must be a reason. Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander okay. Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. Maybe that's why they don't like you. <laughs> Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. <laughs> uh, let's just be nice to her. Rather an overreaction <coughs> on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. 
Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. <laughs> Poor girl. She just wants her friends. Just be friends with her. Okay, now where are the gobstones? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Oh, is that one of them? Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Oh, there it is. Found it. Okay. Oh, where is this? Oh. Oh! This Nettie's mum. Right? You're Nettie's mum, right? Hi, ma'am. Can I talk to you? No? What was this? Mudiwa Unai. Under Professor Black's direction, it's my honor. Yes. Deputy Mr. to offer you position of definition. Yeah, it is a mom. Here, let me help you out. Gobstones, man. I'm looking for gobstones. Where's the gobstones? Oh, there it is. That's the gobstone. I'd better keep. Why would he hide all the gobstones like at ridiculous places like this? I'd better keep an eye on high places oh. around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Ravenclaw Tower. Ah, okay. It's oh, their classes, the common rooms here. Okay. Rebellion. Let me also. Thank you. Rebellion. Oh, there it is. Whoa. There was a flying pitch just now. Ah, oh, there it is. Man, this is a lot of stairs. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Ooh. It's a nice place. Rebellion. Oh, look at this. This is the most interesting uh, piece of armor I've seen. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Nice. I like this. I like this somewhere here. Ah, oh, there it is. Mm, the last one. <coughs> ah, there. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Revelio. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Yes, I can. Hello? <coughs> Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag <coughs> her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Yeah, sure. Mm, sounds intriguing. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. 
Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Okay. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. No problem, man. Oh. Hmm, okay. I'll take note of this. A rhinoceros. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Mm, yeah, sure. Go crazy, kid. Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all my future victories to you. Speaking of which... Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Um, let's not do that. That's a horrible idea. No one wants to get that awful stench all over them again. Why not? Gobstones are splendid fun, and now everyone knows the rules. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. <coughs> oh yeah, this was the... This was the image right just now. Or was this not? You know what? I will do that side mission the next time. Trying to get Ellen incendio. Hi, ma'am. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not I would try my best. with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Okay. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. No, I'm getting better at that. Okay. Is that it? I don't have to try it out. Let's try it out here. Incendium. Ooh. Incendium. Hmm. Ooh. All right. Okay, I guess that's it for part 2 of the walkthrough. I hope you all had fun as much as me playing it. So, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.